And LAPD with an all-out search for this, this groper, their suspect this late hour. They are concerned he may have targeted other young women, and that's important, especially since the village is busy again with the students coming back, returning for the fall classes. Look here. Westwood Village in the very heart of UCLA, where LAPD is now on the hunt for a groper. To wake up and find your personal space violated like that, you know, think about how horrifying that is. Horrifying, the detective says. It happened overnight, early Friday morning, here in the 1100 block of Swarthmore Drive, or as they call it here at UCLA, Apartment Row. One apartment building after another, all filled with UCLA students, and one female student in her early 20s who wakes up to a frightening sight. Found a man in her bedroom, uh, standing over her. Uh, she jolted awake, he reached in and groped her while she was uh, still there in her bed. She was able to jump up. Push him away. The intruder turned groper runs away. He's now the target of an LAPD search. Officers in their black and white cruisers looking for a 25 to 30 year old man, about 5 feet 10, with a medium to heavy build. The groper has brown hair and short facial hair. Investigators say there is no sign of a break in in the first floor apartment where it all happened. And that brings a warning from LAPD to all of the students keep your doors locked and your windows closed, especially at night. We're asking people, please uh, have that sense of urgency in your security. Lock things up so uh, these guys don't end up wandering into your house. That is students return to class for the fall as investigators work to catch the groper before he strikes again. This should be a time when, when people are thinking about uh, freshman English class, not about creepers in their living room. Now live, as the detective says, it's the very last thing any of these students should have to worry about at this point. But police tell me, interestingly, they deal with some of these cases this time of year. As they put it, a lot of the students come from smaller towns. They're not used to uh, locking their doors, closing their windows. They're not used to dealing with the dangers of living in a big city like L.A. That's why they need to pay attention, the detective says. For now, we're live here in Westwood, Atlasco's. Back to both of you.